G'day, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop again. Uh, this is number five in the series on the rig gear for the 1952 Bentley. Um, previously we've shown uh, the lead up to where we are now, which is to actually cut the leads on the, um, on the teeth and uh, from there progress onwards. Now, uh, this has taken a couple of turns and um, from my original thoughts to what I've got to. Anyway, we've set it up, we've got the, um, uh, we've got the rotating, uh, rotating indexing table set up. We're freewheeling the, um, the unit around. We're using uh, tailstock to detent and give us the indexing on per tooth. Uh, I've done some rough cutting to, um, uh, to, see, to make the adjustments and everything else. And uh, now what uh, we're going to do is we're going to show you uh, the setup in close-up and, um, and, and cut a couple of teeth so you can see how we're going about this job. Uh, so um, we'll be back in a second. We can't get the job done with one of our basic tools for indexing. So we're going to swing you around now um, and uh, show you with this we've set we've, we've set up uh, as we showed in the previous things we've, we've set the rig up. Um, it's it's stacked off the uh, table with a, by using a, a flange, an old flange that I had. Uh, we've now clamped it in four places, not that there's a lot of load on it. Um, and uh, we've got the the indexing system here, which is using this. Um, there we go. We we use we're using this tail stock, and we just go screw this in and out like that. Uh, and you'll see that in action uh, the next uh, the next tooth around. Um, so now getting back to our uh, our teeth cutting, the um, there's a number of things that we had to take into account. We're doing this, um, bearing in mind that I'm not a scientific man. Um, I'm, I'm a simple person and I look for simple uh, solutions. Um, I, I don't have any drawings, I don't have any details, I don't have any, um, I, I don't have any uh, uh, tooling requirements uh, from the factory or anything like that. I'm just using my normal common sense. Now, what we have here is what used to be the um, the gas section of the tooth when it was originally this high. Uh, what I've elected to do is uh, to cut to gash deeper down, and and then machine off this land here, um, and and machine this down to that point there. Now. We tried different options, and in the end, I've come up with this one, uh, which I showed, and I'm using a 60 degree duff, uh, 45 degree dovetail. Um, and what I looked for was to have the top of the gash uh, at the point where I'm going to machine it. Uh, that top of that gash there should be in the centre of the uh, the base of the um, the tooth, and when it daylights into between the teeth here, let me see, let's see it better here, when it daylights into the teeth, we want it to be able to be at the root, um, to daylight into the root so that there's no obstruction there for the pinion to be able to slide in. So that's what I've done. I've adjusted up and down, sideways, roundabout, backwards and forwards, X and Y, etc. And now uh, with this gashing, I'm only doing one movement. I've set the uh, DRO, and the only movement I'm making with the with the tool is going inboard uh, to the the zero point that I've set, um, and then I'm t I'm bringing it out, indexing it one tooth along, and carrying on. Now I'm I'm giving consideration and still thinking about. Um, originally, I was going to machine this first, this section first, the land. Then I was going to bring it back into here to this setup once I'd proven it um, and, uh, and gash those leads and then have a good look at the, those teeth that have been damaged and decide what to do with them. Um, what I've opted to do is not to, to shift anything but to gash all the leads first. 
I'll finish gashing all the leads and then I may consider taking off the right angle he head and all the rest of it and actually using a ball nosed uh, cutter and uh, resetting the, the uh, table up with the, uh, with the pinion engaged and manually uh, rotate this against the cutter and, you, and, and do on board actually cut that land out, cut this section out here. Uh, down to there so that it doesn't interfere with the pinion engaging. So that's my plan, um, my plan C or D or whatever you want to call it. And here we go. I'll just adjust my chair up. I was doing a bit of comfortable work here. And off we go. Slow process, it's going to take me quite a few hours to do this, but I see this as the best alternative that I could come up with, given the circumstances, the time frame, and the dollars available. I'll probably have to invest in a couple more cutters tomorrow, because as I said, this is tough going. Might just give it a bit of Vaseline, my favourite black stuff. Well done. There we go. We're not we're not creating any heat here. As in any great quantity. Okay, so we've zeroed that, we've cut that, that lead, and now we're going to um, rotate it around, so index it, so here we go, uh, you'll see my indexing method here, very, very uh, complex I must admit. Okay, so what we do is we, we pull the indexer out, we take our screwdriver and bump it around a bit, uh, first of all we need to release that side, we bump it around. And then I bring that in, and you can see that's rotating, and that's locked it in place. Then I lock the table, and we're ready for the next cut. Okay. 
back around, another intelligent indexing. I've tightened up the back end, uh, lock nut just a little bit on the table so it doesn't it doesn't take a run away, but you can see that lead let itself in there, we're locked up and we're back for our next cut. I'm starting to um, think about that uh, single malt tonight and we'll go down well. This shaft extension, by the way, is one I use for getting down uh, deep holes where I have to um, um, have to get a tool down for doing counterbores and so forth. So it's just one of those tools that you make up to do a particular job, um, and it's got a second a second use on its resume now. There we have it. Um, oop, uh, chair fell, it won't fall any further. Uh, there we have it. We're, um, we're producing the desired effect. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take the camera off here just for a, a quick shot. Uh, see if we can get a bit closer in so you can see the actual profile, hopefully, uh, of what we've actually achieved. Not sure if that's going to be 100% accurate. Uh, as far as that's concerned but if we come around this side we might be able to see how we've managed to achieve that new lead for these teeth uh, ignore these ones here because they've got a I've got to come around a second time it's really um, it's really these ones here that are now have what we let me just turn that light around a bit maybe see better Okay, so there we have it, uh, number five, and uh, we'll be back. Watch this space.